Hey, what's up, you guys? Marty Schwartz here with Marty Music once again, and thank you so much for supporting Marty Music. I really appreciate that. I'm gonna break down this awesome Casey Musgrave song right now. I know you're gonna enjoy it, so let's get to it. All right, I'm gonna start with easy chords and then show you uh, little tricks and stuff that you can take from the foundation of the basic chords. So, underneath it all, it's an A to an E minor. And then a G, and then a D. So, like the chorus, for instance. And you can do down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, 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 down. She's not playing it this way, but this is the core of the song. One, one other thing though, and don't worry, I'm gonna get fancier in a second here. When she's doing basically the verses and some other kind of once in a while times, instead of, in other words, there's no like exact form except in the verse, instead of E minor, she'll play a C chord um, on the second time of the verse. So like, what I mean is, now it's A to C. Right? And then let's do that again. A, 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 E minor, G, 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 D, 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 A, 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 now C, G. And then when it's when she's singing slow burn, it's always E minor. Slow burn. Okay, now let's get a little fancier. That A major chord, you can play what's called A suspended two. And all you gotta do is take your ring finger off. And now we're adding some of that more moodiness that you're hearing in the song. So check it out. If I just play that instead of the A. Okay, so another thing, it doesn't look like she's doing this when I was looking at live footage, but you can, uh, but there's also multiple instruments going on in the song. But to add some darkness, you can play E minor seven, which is uh, just the open D string, like that, so. So what she's doing for the D chord though, is she's not playing this D but it is a type of D. It's another one of those suspended chords, really just because we're getting an open G string in there, so it's a D suspended fourth, but you just think of it as a C major chord up a whole step. And that's what she's playing, but it's a functioning D chord, so watch that. Now, it's something that I see a lot of singer-songwriters do, and they'll play a C chord like this, but the ring finger up there and the pinky behind it. It's a little bit fuller chord. So when she's doing her C chord, she plays it like that. And also when she's doing this C up a whole step, she's doing it like that as well. That, that would sound like this. Because of this, I'm just not playing that low E when I do it. And it's easier to do it like that. Uh, 
obviously I'm not even comfortable doing it that way, but that's the way she is doing it. So in conclusion, you have A, E minor, G, and D, and then we can turn them into A sus2, E minor 7 if we want, or E minor, G, and then a D sus4 by playing this. And then another thing, when you play the C chord, to add moodiness, you can just not use your index finger and play a C major 7 chord like. Uh, she's not doing that, but that adds color. One of the other players might be doing that. Uh, there's a bridge. And uh, the bridge is a C chord. To an E minor. That's it. And then... Right, there it was. Thank you. I hope you had fun. Feel free to leave requests in the comments below. While you're down there, I'd love for you to subscribe. Thanks again. See you later. I gotta keep on making it. Keep making, keep making. Hey.